So today we are looking at these high quality premium workbench caster sets. Uh, this is a four pack that the company did send to me. This is the new and upgraded version. The upgraded version has better screws, stronger screws, and these mounting brackets you can see have more holes. So you have three holes up here and three holes on the bottom as well. Now, what actually comes inside of this box, there's a lot inside of here. You can see you of course have the four different um, wheels themselves and the other mounting brackets. You can see here's everything that's included. Just a quick look there, but taking a closer look, there's a lot inside this box. It does also come with these Nice little tool to make installation super easy and an easy to follow template to put this on and i'll be showing you exactly how to install these and then of course you have all of the screws and nuts to get this job done so let's actually go through and install these and give you a full review on them okay so the first step in installing this is you want to actually take this these two pieces right here and you want this to be facing up this way and we're going to take one of these bolts right here and we're actually, there's two different sizes of bolts that this comes with. One is a little bit longer. You can see how that one's longer. We're gonna take the longer one and thread this through here. It doesn't necessarily matter which side you do this on, like that. And they give you the nuts to put on here. So we're gonna go through and screw this on. You can hand tighten it as much as you'd like. And, but then to really get it tight, what you're gonna wanna do is grab one of these, uh, these tools that they provided, put that just right here so it keeps that screw in place. And then you can grab this end right here and go through and just tighten that. That will keep the screw in there. You just hold it down and you can go through and tighten this as much as you need. So now you ha should have something that looks like this. We're gonna, then going to take this part right here and kind of just put it in this way and slide it till you have the hole here. Once again, we're going to do the exact same thing, except this time we want to have this facing down and we're gonna take the smaller bolt, a somewhat sli uh, smaller bolt, and we're gonna thread this through here. Do the same thing, go through and tighten this on here. So now you should have something that looks like this. So now you should have something that looks like this. And what we're going to do is take this mounting template. It says if uh, use two center holes, use two center holes if your, your workbench legs are less than 2.5 inches. Use four corner holes for better stability if your workbench legs are greater than 2.5. So you have options here. So you can see that my workbench is around two inches. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting two um, bolts in right here, I'm gonna put one right here and one right here. So I'm just gonna hold this here at the edge of my uh, leg here. I'm just gonna go through and drill this. So I have a little bit of a pilot hole. Make sure that stays right on top of there and then drill this one. And there we go. So now we're gonna take this right here. We want this part facing downwards. We're gonna put this here. Make sure those line up. I'm gonna screw these in here. And now we're just going to take this wheel and thread it through this little part right here, up at the top, and put the nut right here. And then to tighten this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab this part right here, put it along this kind of bottom part, get it right there, and then you can grab this right here and go through and tighten it. And there we have our first wheel. And you can see here's what they look like all installed. The great thing about these is they're 360 degrees, so you can move them facing all the way around, no matter which way. And when you actually want to stop them from wheeling or moving, uh, moving around, all you need to do is clamp this up. You can see it lifts up the wheel, clamp all those up just like this. And now you're not moving anywhere. You're just back onto the, the ground itself. And these are great because these little foot pedals, once you're ready to move with your foot, you can then go through and clamp these down just like this. Or just like this. And if you wanted to flip them up with your feet, you could do so as well. Just kind of up to you and personal preference on that. But it has a nice rubberized grip right here, which is nice. These are super heavy duty. Um, they can pretty much last for any kind of situation. And great for moving around your workbench, no matter how big or, or small basically it is. 